Hi everyone, my name is Juan Cardona and I've been a volunteer here at the Thomason Opera House for the Connecticut Valley Theater Organ Society and Landmark Community Theater for 23 years now. I started playing here as the house organist back in 1993 and the first show that I played before was for Guys and Dolls. I've been playing for pretty much every show that's been going on for the last 23 years unless otherwise um, directed not to because of the type of show um, that it was that the organ just didn't fit. Um, but during that time I was still at the University of Connecticut studying classical organ and I had just joined the Connecticut Valley Theater Organ Society in 1993 as well and the American Theater Organ Society because I've ha been in love with the theater organ and the music of it since I was like five years old. Uh, when I was five, my parents brought me to a concert here at the Opera House, and as soon as I heard the instrument, I was hooked, and I just told them, I want to do that. What was uh, uh, interesting and surprising for me was um, one day I got home from work, and there's a message for me on the answering machine, and I hear it's Skitch Henderson, and that was just like, just, in, uh, you know, speechless. And for those of you who don't know Skitch, Skitch was actually the uh, band, uh, band leader for The Tonight Show starting back in the 1950s. That was a really interesting um, event because I got to play the amazing uh, E.M. Skinner that's installed at the Woolsey Hall Auditorium at Yale with the New Haven Symphony. And it was just, just a magical experience that, you know, I'll never ever forget. The other uh, couple opportunities that I had was to uh, it was at the Bardavon Opera House in Poughkeepsie, New York, where they had special gala events each year, where they bring in a big artist um, to celebrate their annual or their end of year um, program season at that theater. And I've been playing as the house organist over there for now 16 years for their classic film series, and have been doing silent movies for them as well. About 94, 95, I believe, uh, was when I f got my first taste of doing um, accompanying silent um, films. And really what it was, was accompanying silent cartoons. The uh, Opera House had actually uh, scheduled to put on the show um, Schoolhouse Rock, the musical, on stage. And when I showed up for the opening night, I had some music in mind of what I was going to play before, before the show, being that it was going to be Schoolhouse Rock. I kind of assembled some music that would have been similar to Saturday morning cartoons that, at the time. Up until now, I've probably scored or accompanied um, over 30 films, which includes both comedy shorts, such as like Laurel and Hardy films, Buster Keaton shorts. I've also done, you know, the, um, the uh, full length film features of Buster Keaton and uh, some Charlie Chaplin. And of course, Douglas Fairbanks, who was known as the squash buckler of the time for all the action films. Uh, I've pretty much done probably all the Halloween films that uh, everybody would be expecting during the Halloween season, such as Phantom of the Opera, Nosferatu, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I did Hunchback of Notre Dame, so those are pretty much the staples for the Halloween season. In summary, I've you know I've had 23 years of fun um, here at the Opera House. I, I look at this place as my second home. Um, I'm here to support everybody that's on stage in the pit, um, that does the lighting, the sound. You know, uh, I, I'm happy to be a part of this place. Um, and I hope I can keep playing for at least another 23 years, if possible, um, to keep this instrument going because this thing is, this is what got me hooked on the theater organ. And I want to see this wonderful instrument continue playing and maintained in its top, top shape condition. So thank you so much for, uh, you know, honoring me with this, this award today. This has been a really a, uh, an honor and a, and, a, and a pleasure for me to be here and as I'm here living out my childhood dream um, from when I was five years old and one of the things I always 
wished was that someday that I could be the house organist at the Thomason Opera House, and I've been happily living out my childhood dream for 23 years now. Thank you.